Voslav Smil, Energy Myths and Realities, Bringing Science to the Energy Policy Debate. In his book, Energy Myths and Realities, Bringing Science to the Energy Policy Debate, Voslav Smil confronts widely circulated theories, such as peak oil, and examines the validity of alternative energy sources like biofuels, wind energy, and potential global warming solutions like carbon sequestration. Through a pragmatic and objective lens, Smil debunks various misconceptions and illustrates the importance of thorough cost-benefit analysis in energy policy decisions. This summary will provide an insightful overview of both the misconceptions surrounding energy policies and the need for well-informed, rational approaches. Debunking Peak Oil Theory In the 90s, retired geologists and scientist Richard Duncan presented a radical theory called peak oil, predicting an imminent oil shortage and the end of industrial civilization by 2025. However, their argument overlooks crucial aspects like demand-side influences on oil prices and a decrease in oil dependence through alternative fuels and technological advancements. These peak oil theories inaccurately estimate global oil reserves, and recent studies suggest that there are substantial untapped resources, including unconventional reserves, which indicate a gradual transition away from oil rather than a civilization collapse. The heated debate surrounding the peak oil theory started in the 1990s when a group of retired geologists and scientist Richard Duncan hypothesized that global oil supplies were vanishing so rapidly that an impending shortage would precipitate the end of industrial civilization by 2025. However, it's essential to recognize that their dire predictions were based on flawed assumptions. A significant issue with peak oil theories stems from their singular focus on the global oil production supply side, disregarding the influence of oil prices on demand. Proponents of these theories regard declining oil production as evidence of physical oil scarcity, while in reality, it's attributable to reduced demand. This was notably observed after oil price increases in 1978 and 2004. Furthermore, our dependence on oil is anticipated to decline due to the expanding use of alternative fuels, groundbreaking technological innovations, enhanced efficiency, and improved resource management. Consequently, while the eventual shift away from oil is inevitable, it will not precipitate the end of civilization. Instead, it will signal a gradual and necessary transition towards other energy sources. Lastly, peak oil theories make unreliable assertions regarding global oil reserves, which remain uncertain. Contemporary assessments reveal considerable untapped oil resources, with global estimated ultimately recoverable, euro, oil calculated at 400 billion barrels, nearly triple the amount hypothesized by most peak oil theories. These estimates don't even account for unconventional reserves like tar sands and bitumen, which only increase potential future reserves. In light of these facts, the bleak vision painted by peak oil theory appears unfounded and unjustified. The Carbon Sequestration Conundrum The urgency to counteract global warming has led to the consideration of carbon sequestration as a solution. However, this approach has proven costly, inefficient, and far from ideal. Current methods cannot effectively slow down CO2 buildup or remove significant amounts from the atmosphere. The construction and maintenance of CO2 capture towers, known as artificial trees, would be expensive and challenging. Additionally, relying on plant-driven sequestration would require extensive land and resources, alongside decades of growth time. Storing the sequestered carbon also poses significant risks, with the potential for leakage due to corroded storage facilities and the introduction of toxic metals into drinking water supplies. Current storage capacity is insufficient for global carbon output, and the construction of new sites is undesirable due to inherent hazards. Thus, alternative solutions to combat global warming must be explored. The Biofuel Conundrum Ethanol from plants has been lauded as an ideal green energy source, promising independence from crude oil, reduced carbon emissions, and financial stabilization for grain farmers. Reality, however, is more challenging. Biofuel production is expensive and demanding on the environment, 
needing substantial land for cultivation. With global population likely to reach 9 billion by 2050, allocating this land for biofuel production may not be viable, given the need for food crops to sustain humanity. Deforestation, already an issue, only exacerbates climate problems if more land is cleared for biofuel purposes. Additionally, biofuel is not a practical solution for many existing oil-based vehicles. In the U.S., where fuel efficiency is often low, environmental improvements are better achieved through addressing efficiency than converting vehicles to biofuel. Furthermore, Current road vehicles, ships, and airplanes are designed to run on refined oil products, which biofuel cannot replace. Thus, embracing large-scale biofuel production necessitates re-examining and optimizing the overall transportation system. The Limits of Wind Energy The wind holds tremendous power, with simulations revealing that 100-meter high-altitude winds could generate up to 78 terawatts globally. In the U.S., the potential for wind energy is nearly 20 times its current electricity generation. However, despite its promise, wind energy is far from being the dominant energy source in the next 25 years. Harnessing high-altitude wind power proves challenging due to fluctuating jet stream locations and the need for airborne generators connected by aluminum lines. Traditional wind farms need vast land areas, leading to lower power output per square kilometer and potential conflicts with locals over aesthetics, noise, and harm to wildlife. In 2007, wind turbines only produced 1.25% of global energy. Wind's unreliable nature also requires sophisticated transmission networks to balance fluctuating production, leading to significant price variations. Unraveling Energy Policy Myths the world of energy policy is complex and often misleading, with no quick fix in sight. It's important to understand that conventional energy sources will remain for a long time, as transforming to new fuels is always a slow process. When presented with claims of rapid global adoption of a new energy source, approach with caution. Superior technologies still face gradual implementation due to various factors, including misleading arguments from those with personal agendas. Objective forecasting of energy transition remains difficult due to unpredictability in how people and industries adapt. Lastly, consider that implementing new energy innovations involves extensive and costly changes to infrastructure, requiring substantial investments in tackling legal and environmental challenges, further prolonging the process. Powering our world smartly As we determine the future of global energy, it's vital to consider three key factors. First, approach energy policy decisions through unbiased cost-benefit analyses, recognizing that various ideologies and vested interests can cloud judgment. For instance, the oil and gas industry promotes carbon sequestration to benefit from new revenue streams, while appearing less responsible for global warming. Second, acknowledge that regional differences in energy demand and production will impact the implementation of innovative solutions. Developing countries may find it easier to adopt certain innovations, as they aren't beholden to existing infrastructures relying on fossil fuels. Third, prioritize avoiding or minimizing environmental damage instead of focusing solely on remediation. This can be seen in the case of biofuels, which were once hailed as a green solution, only for later assessments to reveal their damaging environmental impacts. Affluent nations should concentrate on the efficient management of their energy use to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and decrease greenhouse gas emissions, rather than only fixating on carbon sequestration. Voslov Smil's Energy Myths and Realities adeptly debunks popular misconceptions and highlights the importance of patience, careful analysis, and ensuring energy policy decisions are based on objective cost-benefit analysis. By disproving theories like peak oil and the efficacy of alternative energy sources such as biofuels, wind energy, and carbon sequestration, Smil establishes the significance of critically examining each proposed solution. The summary stresses the need for taking into account regional differences, avoiding hasty decisions, and prioritizing environmental sustainability in future energy policies.